Last week, uh, following one of our staff meetings at Westmount High, the, the teachers decided to meet together because we were all feeling, uh, you know, sick to our stomachs about, about the implications that our return to the classroom uh, would have for uh, Quebec's healthcare system uh, and its workers. So really, we were doing this symbolic action, wearing black, uh, in solidarity with, with healthcare workers across this province. We've got several concerns. I guess the main one is is what this will mean for rising numbers, uh, you know, with respect to, to the transmission of this virus. So, you know, since September, uh, the, the age cohorts that have seen the biggest increase in numbers have been school-aged children. And so, you know, we, we don't understand why it is that uh, the government is not asking us to, to continue with online learning. I mean, the context of us returning to the class is one where over the last week we've been seeing headlines about hospitals forming triage committees and you know healthcare workers committing suicide and we don't understand how in this context um, the government isn't following the advice of the world's top expert bodies in in keeping schools closed until the numbers go down to a level where it's safe to open schools the school administration here has done just an outstanding job to do everything in their power uh, to keep us safe. Um, however, in spite of that, you know, we're, we're seeing that that, um, you know, again, school aged children are driving the numbers. And we're particularly worried about the fact that there are this new, this new variant of the virus um, that is both uh, more contagious and seems to be targeting uh, younger, younger uh, people. So, um, you know, until we know that it is safe and until we know that the integrity of our healthcare system is protected, uh, it seems to us that it is just very reckless uh, uh, to go ahead and open schools. Now, I do want to say though that that we we want to be in the school in the classroom with our kids. Like that that is where the best learning takes place. However, you know, we just we don't think that the struggles that our students are facing should take precedence over human life and should take precedence over the integrity of the healthcare system. And we've been working extremely hard since the beginning of the year to improve our, our skills with respect to online distance education and we don't understand why at this moment where those skills are most needed that they're not being put to use.